What's up there guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing more cooking simulator. Now, although these videos haven't been particularly popular, I am enjoying them and having the time of my life playing this game. So I thought we'd crack on and continue. So what I wanna to do today is to start a new career. So we have done this before, but we went back and looked at the tutorials in the last video through the cooking skills section. Today we're gonna to be starting a new career and hopefully putting into practice all of the knowledge that we've picked up if I can actually remember anything. So I'd really love it if you could hit that like button because that would help me out a great deal. And if you would like to see more of these videos, please do let me know in the comments section if there's anything that you find amusing or whatever. Let me know because I want to interact with you guys. I'll be replying to the majority of comments unless you say something nasty, then I'm not going to reply now. Jump straight in here and see what we're going to be doing. So we're probably going to be replaying some of the original stuff in the very first mission that we played. So, similar to what we did last time, what I want to do here is just show you firstly, this is where we get the parsley from. So, we're going to grab that at some point probably if we get a, if we get a meal that requires that. But just remember, I couldn't find it last time if you saw that previous video. Uh, if you didn't, it's all right. We're going to start afresh. So, let's have a quick look about recipes. Um, baked trout, tomato soup which was amusing where we dropped the entire thing on the floor last time. We'll try our best to be a little bit more de gentle this time. We'll pin all these recipes um, so that we can bring them up uh, on the other sc on these screens, basically. So what we'll do here is we'll have, um, let's see, let's have the baked trout on there, uh, the soup on this one, if we just get a bit closer, I think there we go. And then this one, we will have the salmon so that we can refer to these things pretty quickly. Um, we have our pans and things over here. We have our deep fries, fries here that we won't need for these recipes. We've got a pot over here. I'll tell you what, just grab this just in case we need it because we've got um, a big pot here. I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, just to prep a bit, we'll... What's this one? Grill pan. That might be useful. We might move that over there. And we've got a normal pan frying pan i guess i would call that so let's have a look uh so we've got a grill here as well and a spatula which is going to be useful because last time we didn't use those we actually uh, did salmon and we fried it in a pan on here so this time i think we'll use this thing um uh not too sure what this is actually i don't think we looked at this in the tutorial either Anybody know what this is? Let me know, because I don't know what that is. Um, food processing container. Uh, I think we went through these things the, the previous time, but it's difficult to know exactly what we're going to be using these for. So we're going to be doing a bit of guesswork. We're going to be having a bit of fun. And that one, I think, is a cutting tool. But we'll chop things manually, I think, with the, the knives. Yeah, um, we'll do our best anyway. I think those knives are both the same, just different coloured. Um, what else have we got? So we've got our trout, we've got our salmon, we've got sour cream, chicken broth. Um, we've got some lemons in the bottom there, which we may need. And yeah, so we learned last time that by... Um, ah, they, that's how we can also buy extra things so we could have we could have bought that last time why didn't we click why didn't that click there so we've got a whole host of things there if we need them i should probably bring these over to be fair because we're probably going to need these um can we pick those things up if we were to use say uh so we pick up a large plate oh we can we, we, we can drop them as well. Okay, probably two. And we'll put these here. So we've got dill and thyme. Put those together. Let's see if we can use this plate to some sort of effect to get these... Ah, oh, come on, man. I actually wanted to pick those up. There we go. Can we pick another one up? All right, it gets a bit dangerous when you pick up more than two, I think. So we've got salt, which we'll put there. That's going to be obviously something that we're definitely going to be using in the majority of things. Black pepper, 
cayenne, cayenne pepper, we'll put that there. I think there's only one left, so we'll get this one. Um, and we'll pop that one there. So horse radish, uh, sunflower oil. Pop this here, and hopefully, hopefully we'll have a good meal this time. Uh, onions, uh, so they've opened the doors. All right, so first up, we have got soup, which we attempted last time, I think. Um, so add to pot, chicken broth, salt, black pepper, cayenne pepper, tomato, 960 grams. Well, I can't remember how many that was, but learning what we learned last time, we can use our plate in order to grab some tomatoes. So 960 grams, which is... Uh, so that's 240, uh, 360. I'm just being careful not to drop these everywhere like I did last time. 480, and that's 600, 720, 840. What was it? I can't remember. Was it 960? <laughs> oh, my days. What a terrible memory, right? Okay, um, let's have a look. I think it was 960, wasn't it? 960 tomatoes, 120 uh, grams of onions. Right, let's get the pot. Do we have to put these in separately? Or can we just tip them? Tell you what, let's just put them in. Oh, we've picked up the plate by accident. Okay, so part of this game is just like learning to be accurate with where you click. It's a bit like Call of Duty, but you know, in the kitchen, or at least that's my uh, that's my line. That's my joke of the day, right? Okay, onions, 120 grams. Let's see. Right, so just one. Do we have to put this down to transfer? Um, how do we rotate round? Right. Rotate forward. That's gonna. Oh no! <laughs> right. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. It's much. Yeah, I'm sure this floor's clean for one. Right. What else? Time is ticking, man. Right. We've got cayenne pepper, six grams, black peppers, and salt, and they're both twelve. So six of the cayenne, twelve of the black, and salt is also 12. Okay, and pepper, six grams. All right, let's see if we can nail this. One, I think. Oh, that's actually going on the onion directly. Um, hard to tell how much is in there. Right, that says six now. I actually wanted to, um, I actually wanted it to go in the pot, not just on one particular vegetable. Am I doing it wrong? Probably. There we go. That's, that's nailed it. Oh, that's six. We need six of those. So we need another six. Oh my days. What are we doing? Two. Four. What is going on? That's 12. I don't know why it has the separate things there anyway. We'll get used to it, I'm sure. Right, we've got... Right, that's enough. So there's, there's, there's 13 in there altogether. It's fine. It's our own personal... It's the taste. It's the taste. Right, so we've got those majority of things in. Um, chicken broth, we want 700 mil. Let's see if we can get this right. 700 mil. Open bottle, right, okay. Um, 700 mil. How do we know how much we've put in? Right, there's 400. Right, there we go. 
How do we put the lid back on? There we go. Right, uh, let's pop this. Can we pop this back in the fridge? No, we can't. Right, okay. We'll keep it out here then. Right, okay. So we're going to put this carefully without tipping this thing over now. On here. We're putting it on there for 60 seconds. Um... Well, it tells you how it's cooking there, doesn't it? Tell you what we'll do. Because we can see that, that readout, we'll grab ourselves a bowl, a deep plate, or a bowl. Uh, I don't like to sure that I like the look of that bowl, but anyway. Uh, wrong thing that we're looking at there, right, okay. Uh, 60, we're going to blend it. This is going to be the dangerous part, isn't it? And add sour cream, 150. And then we're going to put 30 mil of it into a, into a thing. Oh, my days. I can see this is going to get just uh, wild, isn't it? We will get the blending item, though, in the meantime. And let's bring over the ball. Bringing over the ball now. Right, pop that there. Right, let's see. So our tomato and onions cooked, but the mixture itself isn't quite, but I'd say that's been on there for 60 seconds. Guessing. Right, okay. Let's try our crazy device. How do we put this? How do we know if it's over the thing? Right, hold on. There we go. I, I, I think that's mixed. I think it's mixed. We're running out of time. Um, blend, add sour cream, 150 ml. Can we run? 150 ml, sour cream. Forgot to switch the blender off. Right, 150 ml of this. Where is it? When? How do you know when it's over the thing? Nearly. Right, there we go. All right, we'll pop that down there. Um, pour liquid 300 into a deep plate. We got the wrong thing, and I didn't read the instruction. Deep plate. Whoa, what? Something I didn't consider. The ball randomly flying out my hand. Right, okay. Um, right, let's grab this, and we're gonna pour this, I think, somehow. We're behind time. Uh, rotate forward. Ah! All right, that's it. It's done. It's done. Now, carefully, without spilling this. We have spilled some. But we'll pop that there. And we will serve tomato. Out you go. And let's see how we did. Well, we got four and a half stars. Cooking points four. Guest complaints, temperature perfect, um, wrong amount of product. Well, too much cayenne pepper. Hmm, all right. But they were happy with the temperature, and generally speaking, I'd say that was a good one. Right, next one then, baked trout. We made a right mess here, right, okay. Uh, baked trout, I believe, is the next order. How do you see your orders? How do you see your orders? All right, never mind. I'm sure it said baked trout. So, because <clears throat> I just saw it on that thing. Trout, 200 grams, seasoned with black pepper. Um, let's grab a... We probably don't need another plate, but anyway, we'll grab one of these. Seasoned with black pepper, thyme, which is going to be dried. So five grams of each and dill dried. Right, we need to move a bit quicker, I think. Here we go. Uh, dill was one, wasn't it? And dried thyme. And we're going to do five mil, five gram of each of these. Five grams of each of those. Right. Right. Place on a baking tray and bake for 90 seconds. Season with horseradish, which is going to be dried as well. 
Right, okay, so what we want is a baking tray, which will whip that open, grab the baking tray, and we will pop this. We won't pop it there, because that's not where you cook it. Right, we'll pop it there, somehow. We'll close this, switch this on, and it was 90 seconds. Why won't it let us use that? Set timer. Um, 90 seconds. Let's do... Let's do less, because obviously we've been faffing around for 20 seconds. So, uh, 90 seconds, we're going to bake that. So we want horseradish, uh, horse, horseradish, can we even speak? So dried five grams, transfer into a plate, serve hot, cut a lemon. Ah, you see, missing some parts here. Cut the lemon into quarters, I'm sure we'll have time to do that before that's done. Uh, I can't remember how to cut. There we go. That's quarters for me. Pop the knife back without washing it, right? Um, in the quarters, 80 grams of lemon. They're, yeah, they're 80 grams. We'll just leave the fridge wide open, why not? Um, parsley leaves, right. So next up is horseradish. We want five grams, and this is nearly done. Uh, so we're going to do horse horse radish. I still can't say it. Right, let's stop that. Try not to drop this. Horse radish. Five grams of this. And we want our lemons to go with this, and I think that's it. No, no, no. What we want is to pick these up. No, dude, what? Right, put these here, right? And finally, wow, I keep... This is what I mean about accuracy, right? Finally, what we need is parsley leaves, and we want six grams. Uh, so we want three of these, which it won't let us do because we need the plate. It's careful with this, careful, careful, right? There we go. There we go, that must be it. That must be it. Five out of five, five, yes, we did it, guys. Absolutely perfect, five star. And guest is pleased, guest complaints. Um, heating mistakes. Well, I don't know how accurate the heating has to be. I, I know we weren't perfect with it, but flavor's perfect, temperature perfect, great. Right, um, now what? New order, salmon. Right, okay, well, we'll give it a go. Salmon fillet, 120, uh, sorry, 210 grams, salt, black pepper, sunflower oil, salmon fillet, right, okay. I'll tell you what. Let's turn the blender off. We'll take our plate, which we've already got from earlier. We've got the fridge wide open, ready to go. Salmon fillet. Um, I can't remember what we were seasoning it with. I'm pretty sure it was salt, not horseradish. Salt. Whoops. No, we want to put it down. So, uh, black pepper. Whoops. Again, you've got to be really careful about where you're placing the thing. Salt, black pepper, add to pan, sunflower oil, 10 mil, and the salmon fillet, and then fry on each side. So let's take a pan. Whoops. We want sunflower oil. Um, I think it's already over here, actually. There it is. Right, 10 mil of sunflower oil. Right, open bottle. Ah, too much. Right, let's fire this up. And then we want to cook uh, for 60 seconds each side and transfer to a plate. 
we want water in a pot, salt, potato. It says serve hot. Okay, right, okay, look. Let's turn that off. Let's get um, a pot of 100 mil. Is this going to be big enough for 100 mil? I don't know how to wash things up in this uh, place. And I'm not too sure how to do this either. Move vertically. There we go. So we want, sorry, a thousand mil, not a hundred. I'm talking erratically because I'm under pressure. There we go. Right. So we've got one litre of water, 1,000 millilitres. And next up, um, salt, 20 grams, potato, 300 grams. Salt. So 20 grams of salt. I hope that we don't spill this. And what we're going to do, actually, um, we need some potatoes. Let's close this. Wasting time messing around with things that we don't need to be. Um, we need 300 grams of potatoes, which we will... Let's just double check to make sure we don't need to chop them. Yeah, boil for 120 seconds, basically. I think we should be all right here. So let's um, try and tilt this, if I can. Um, it's still not too sure. Oh, no, dude. No, no, no. Right, okay. It would have been much easier to just put them in. It's all right. Our floor's clean. We will not have it said otherwise. Right, we're going to boil that. We're going to need this. And we're going to check this. So that's saying that it's mixing, but I, uh, sorry, the mixture is cooking. Um, and at the same time, let's throw that on. We've got our sunflower oil in there. I'm sure it'll tell us, won't it? Let's pop this in. Grab a spatula, which we will need in a second. Tell you what I'm going to do as well is get the plate ready. Um, where should we do it? Here. Let's make a bit of space. So it's telling us that the mixture's almost done. So I think that means that we can. Uh, come on, man, pick it up, and then um, rotate this. Oh, no, man. That's not what I wanted. What's going on? I want to go back, right? It is kind of a tiny bit frustrating, but, like, it's not, like, the worst thing in the world, if that makes sense. Oh, it's still... <laughs> it's still not happening, is it? Oh, no, right? Okay, look. How do we reset this thing? Like that. All right, let's pick this up. All right, let's try again. So what I want to do is move it vertically down and then release that and use the right mouse button to turn it. It's still not happening for me. Let's try again. We'll go down and then use the right mouse button. That'll do. There we go. Right. How long's this been in? Right, that's done. Um, how do we get these things out? Do we have a strainer? Do we have a strainer? We're going to just have to tip this in the sink, I think. Right, I don't want to throw this. What I want to do is tip this. <laughs> oh, my days. Right, okay, whatever. It's done. It's done. What? They burnt. My, my thing's going to be burnt if I'm not careful. Right, trying to figure this out. So shift, hold that down and then rotate. Right, okay, let's do the potatoes again. So, a thousand 
um, water, move that back and then, no, we don't want to do that. We want to move it that way. Right, um, and two potatoes. We can switch that water off in a sec. There we go, right. Let's pop that on there. Be a bit more careful this time. We need a bin. Not too sure where it is. I don't know how to use this and I don't even know why I'm messing around with it to be fair. We'll go can we mop up? I just don't like leaving a mess, that's all. Um I don't know don't think that wants to move now. Because we've got a mess here. Um, I don't know how we would strain this out of here. We must have a strainer somewhere. Anyway, it's saying that our mixture is almost cooked, although our potatoes are only half cooked. I don't know how long it's been on there, to be fair. We are going over time. I'll tell you what, let's just do it. Um, we'll move that backwards, and then I think if we tip. There we go, that's how you, maybe that's how you do it. Want to grab that potato? Ah, it might be too hot, that's probably why. Right, let's see if we can get this right. So we'll hang it over, and then we'll move it down. And then we'll rotate it. Come <laughs> You have got to be joking. Are you actually joking me right now? Right, it's on the thing. Is it, did it need to be seasoned? Like, you know, garnished, I mean. Right, okay, I think that's done. The potatoes are hot. I don't think the salmon is. I, I, <laughs> I think we'll probably get three stars. Oh, yeah, what well, we got overall three. Guest is pleased, guest complaints, boiled potatoes. Um, ah, we forgot to put the salt in the second time round. Oh, well, they weren't complaining about it being undercooked, so that's a good one. You've gained enough, enough cooking points to unlock a new recipe using the an app. We finished taking orders. I didn't get to read all of that. Tea to continue. Um... The thing is, I have no idea how to exit. So we've got perks, skills. Right, I have absolutely no idea how to exit now, but what I will say, guys, is thank you so much for watching this video. Um, we'll crack on more with this next time. And if we hadn't left enough of a mess of this kitchen, I'm sure we can get do worse next time. But thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do hit the like button and I'll catch you guys again soon.